I believe we are now entering core two of season one of Kumo. And we ended off fight with Araba. The fight itself. Listen, I'm I do enjoy fights, but I feel like for reaction stuff, there's only so much you can do with fights other than just go, oh my god! Whoa! The part of the episode that I really liked, the part of the fight that I enjoyed was the end where Araba is like seemingly giving up because he got hit with sloth and this is like, this is bullshit. What the fuck are these skills, you goddamn spider? I'ma just quit. And then Wakaba's like, what? After all this, after all the suffering I did, you're just gonna give up like that? There was a big emotional moment that came out of nowhere. I never understood that Wakaba had the heart of like a warrior, like a samurai, like the sanctity of our duel. Do you not care about this? Like that shit hit me out of nowhere. That was the best part, absolutely. Now, I hear that um, opening too, that's gonna start from this episode onward. That's gonna spoil some important shit, so I shouldn't watch that until opening 16. So don't worry, we won't get spoiled, but let's begin today's reaction. What if Araba actually tried his hardest and like Wakaba is yelling at Araba without realizing that Wakaba is so fucking strong? You know what I mean? Maybe from our perspective, it looks like Araba is just giving up. But what if from Araba's perspective, it's like, why are you getting angry at me? You beat me so fucking hard. I can't do anything right now. Dude, so much emotion in this scene. It makes you a demon lord soon. <laughs> And then the annihilating eye and done. This is Wakaba's voice, right? But we saw Mama Spider's eyes, remember at the end of the episode? Okay, we're Wait, the exit out is the prisons? What? What the fuck? People just like automatically shoot at us for coming out of the labyrinth? It makes sense. If this, if the Elro Labyrinth is such like a dangerous place, then it makes sense that this is people are gonna have like guards around it just to make sure nothing escapes. In fact, aren't monsters everybody like escaping because of Wakaba, right? They're, it's it's very heavily guarded. I probably shouldn't kill them all. No, kill them all. Damn, they're getting off screens. <laughs> We're not even seeing what's going on. They're just getting tossed around. <laughs> just casually leaves. <laughs> Because you know, like, this is very fun and casual, right? It's like, oh no, people are, like, going, whoa, whoa, just getting thrown away with, like, silly music playing. But, like, you remember that one episode when the humans attacked, you know, Rembrandt or whatever his name attacked the labyrinth, right? Like, what, 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 what did it look like from the perspective of the, the humans? You know what I mean? What did it look like to them that this being just emerged out of the fucking den? And it's like, holy shit, what's going on, you know? CGI birds? Butterflies? Are you sure? They're not scared of her? This is the first time she actually- Wait, something's burning outside. What's going on over there? Alright, we're just gonna ignore that. Is she gonna go terrorize the village now? No. No, you're not a cute little spider. Can I have a sugar we tweet? No, because you know, you've seen the perspective from the humans of what she really looks like. There is no uwu eyes, dude. She's a monster. Yeah, exactly. Is this actually what's going on? Or is this in her mind? Okay, it's in her mind. What is this? This is the uh, evolution trees. Yeah, oh, this is so cool. We get to finally see the evolution trees, what the, what the different subtrees were, right? We started off a small lesser, then we went to a small, small poison, Zoa LA, but the other side is like poison Taratek, greater Taratek, arc Taratek, queen Taratek. So we can actually still, if you look at the evolution tree, it is actually possible to achieve queen Taratek, you know? Because we are, no, 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 we already went too far. We are at the Erezina level. No, we can't. We, there, there was a chance to... And even Zoa Ella. Yeah, it was too late. No, it, it was too late. Because, like, instead of choosing Zoa Ella, you should have done Poison Tara's Tech to get the Greater Arc and Queen. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, it, it, it was too late by the time we chose, like, Erezina. But then after Erezina, there was a different one called Orthokadinat. Zana Horowa. What the fuck are this shit? But, hey, what does it say? Queen Tara Remember? The demon lord sent the queen Tartek after that one fort? 
So I think it's safe to assume that definitely is the mom, because who else would have achieved Queen Tartek, right? Arakne. Arakne. What is that? Hmm? Human. Yeah, so this... Okay, so this is how she turns into that humanoid form. Were people... I mean, maybe. Like, would people actually care about it? I don't know, because like... When you look at the girl, the human form, 15 years later, would, if random people looked at her, and if you hit all the demon aura, would people be like, oh, seems like a nice girl, or would they be like, scared as fuck? I don't know. Or hungry. I'm a hungry spider, nice English. Yeah, you can eat anything. I want her to go eat some humans, man. <laughs> mom? Mom, mom, mom? So, so wait, wait. So there's like static noise. So the queen, is it like a hive mind? The queen can like, I don't know, talk to all of her like daughters and sons. Mom, we left. Mom, you try to eat us. What do you want? Or a submission to all your descendants. How much control? No, not, no. Not back to the labyrinth, no. Oh, we got heresy nullification, so it doesn't work on us. Could you imagine we go back to the fucking labyrinth? Like, oh my god, we spent 12 episodes just farming, grinding. We're finally out, and mom's like, nah, get your ass back in here. It's time for grind number two. Yeah, goodbye, mom. You try to eat us, by the way. There's no way you're getting out when you're so huge. Well... I'm sure we know that she went out because she destroyed that fort. She got out eventually. How did she do other other exits? Or we could probably teleport her out, right? Because like she got teleported. I don't know. She could use spatial magic. She, she already saw that the human do like AOE in the teleport, right? I don't know. I don't know. Bye bye, mother. Well, that assumes Araba is stronger than mom. I don't know if she, Araba is stronger than mom. Okay, phase egg. Is Faye gonna hatch soon or what? That egg is huge. What form is Faye gonna look like now, huh? Get him! Ah, oh, this guy! <laughs> I don't trust him at all, dude. That's the first time seeing her. Did she exist in season one, part one? Did, did she exist? Or is this, a is this a scenario of fucking Ari Furata Princess in season two where just like, oh yeah, hey, this blonde princess existed and everyone knew her all this time. I don't remember this bitch. You guys remember this, sir? I don't remember. Anna? Who are you? Interesting that she's a blonde elf. Who's the other blonde elf in this show? Oka-chan, but I'm sure there's no connection, right? Something to eat? You're gonna poison me, bro? Or are we zooming into Anna here? Anna, what are you doing? What What the fuck was that scene? That was so weird. What was... Whoa! <laughs> Shit! Dude, what? No, there ha that was an intentional scene. I don't know why they were zooming into her ear there. Maybe that was just like weird, awkward direction, art direction, but is the anime trying to tell me something? Potimas, leader of elves. That looks like Oka-chan to me. It is Oka-chan. Second prince. Sidis. He's the one that's not that too nice. Reston's kind of nice, yeah. Fidimas, that's right. Why does the prince refer to the Okachan as Oka? I, I thought only humans knew Okachan. You know what I mean? Like only people from Japan know Okachan, the name. So either the name Okachan got somehow leaked and this prince is saying it, or the prince also is a resurrected, reincarnated human, right? Am I nitpicking here at details that doesn't matter? Or was that leak? Because everyone does call her Okachan casually, so I'd imagine some other people picked it up, but like, I don't know. Yeah, there, I heard you've been calling each other pet names. Yeah, I remember a line like that. Yeah, yeah. Because like, I, I'm not thinking of like, wait, is the prince another reincarnated one that's been hidden all this time? No, 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 it's, it's not a slip. It's not a leak there. No, no, no. Sure, war against the humans and demons. So Okachan has been trying to do diplomacy? Hmm, I wonder. I wonder. Okachan, did you really try? I'm sure you did everything you could! I'm sure you tried! Hmm. Well, let's entertain the thought that Okachan wants the war to break out. Why? Why would Okachan ever want the war to break out? Because she doesn't like humans? Maybe the demons and elves get along pretty well. 
maybe we're like, fuck the humans. Let's get rid of them. And the elves take over. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like incentives. Why would Okachan even want that? I doubt she has like loyalty towards the elves. She's a reincarnated character after all. Who knows, man? There was just no... St even the way he says this, there was just no way stopping this war while smiling while this ominous music is playing is so suspicious. This prince, I'm also very sus of now. I am sus of every fucking character, dude. What does that look, Okachan? What does that look, Okachan? Do you? No, you died. <laughs> I agree for Julius, he said. Remember last couple episodes ago when Julius died? The first thing he said, like, all right, enough of that bullshit. Dad, what are we going to do from here on out, right? There was no mourning from this guy, dude. He's right, though. He's very objective with it. That's right. Shun, the new hero. Bro, it's so mad that the RNG hero fucking, you know, the hero, um, the registration didn't go to him. All right, fuck it. Yo, we should send Shun to the front lines immediately. Let him die. Next time, maybe I'm going to get chosen. <laughs> you just send him immediately? Bro, you know he's not like Julius. Huh. Okay, Sam, what should we do? You're rushing into it, dude? Bro, the reigning demon lord, Wakaba. What about her? Previous demon lords! Oh, who were they? Pultimus has already fought her? Okay. What? So there used to be diplomacy, and ever since Wakaba got in? She's like, nah, we don't do that shit anymore. Fuck them all. What? What, what happened? Why would Wakaba want all-out war against the humans? It's gotta be about the truth of the world, right? Remember, if you reach Taboo 10, the admin, like, install a DLC package to give you a little bit of the truth of the world. But the church doesn't want you to do that. And the church is opposite side with the humans. So maybe Wakaba understanding that is like, nah, for the sake of this world, I'm gonna fuck you humans up because you guys are the one actually evil. And we're trying to actually save this world from whatever natural disaster that's gonna happen, right? At least that's the best guess I can give based on what's been presented so far. Admin D, no G, this is Admin G, which is like, why is an admin a playable character, right? Doesn't that imply that Admin D is also a playable character, right? Am I crazy? Because in the flashback, the DLC fucking package, this dude was Admin G something. But that's like, what the fuck? An admin is a playable character? You know what I mean? So who is Admin D here, right? Are you Admin D? They, they keep showing this girl. They, they, they keep showing this girl who I thought was Yuri, right? Uh, and remember, Admin D is like uh, has some connections to Japan for some reason. Her Japanese like fantastic, but this this girl, this this girl with the annihilating eye, who is who is this girl, dude? <laughs> honestly, honestly, here's a, here's another thing. Here is another thing that's even more insane. What if this is Wakama? What if this is Wakaba? What if the demon lord is Admin D? Because if... Because, like, don't you think that... It was a little bit weird how this girl used the Annihilating Eye? This girl used the Annihilating Eye? But that's when Wakaba also used it? It was, like, swapped... It was, like, an immediate... Like, Wakaba used it, and immediately we, the anime just showed this girl using it. So I was like, huh. So, like... They, and, and, but like, there's so many different things that alludes to like the conversation, like right, even right here. She has a little spider, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So like everything, like, like the obvious, the most intuitive answer, the most normie answer you could give watching this show up till now is to think that this girl is Wakaba. But it's like, what if it's not? You know what I mean? And if an admin is a playable character, what if this is admin D bro? Because, like, her personality is totally different compared to Wakaba of the past. Now, after 15 years, and I'm sure you become Demon Lord, right? I I'm sure, like, your personality can't change. And remember, Okachan also said Wakaba is dead. What does that really mean? Maybe the ascension from spider into this humanoid form is what considers Okaba considering Wakaba dead. I don't know. But Okachan did say Wakaba is dead, you know? What if Wakaba is this tiny spider? A a maybe, man. Maybe. I don't know, dude. So, like, what if this is Admin D, this is Admin G, and this is Wakaba? Because when we met Admin G in that one episode, and Admin D was there with the cell phone, right? They were talking. But 
in that same episode, there was a little bit of time skip, and then we, and then the the presumed demon lord Wakaba had like a little interaction with Admin G, and it said, "Oh, who would have thought? Who would have thought that this is gonna happen after that one fateful moment?" So that's already kind of confirming that okay, this was Admin G, and the demon lord is Wakaba because that's how they met. But technically, Admin G did talk to Admin D over the phone. Now, they seem to kind of already know each other back then. I'm not really sure. You know what I'm saying? There's so many things that could make this a possibility that Wakaba is not the demon lord, but is actually this girl right here just because she used the annihilating eye. But everything about her is still spider-like. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore, guys. I don't fucking know. Followers of the word of God more often. You mean crazy lunatics like fucking Yuri, right? Who's turned into the sage? Yeah, the church is crazy. Church of the word? Even before this, the church of the word? Word of God, God's word, church is God. Okay, okay, God's word. God's word. Yeah, have you seen one of those church girls at our school, bro? Pull Timos, you'd be scared of Yuri too. Dustin, the followers of the word. Wait, 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 this is super important. Oh, dude, this episode is a fucking lore drop, huh? All right, all right, wait, wait, who's this Dustin guy? Dustin, the followers of the word of God's pontiff. What the fuck is a pontiff? Dustin is basically the Pope, right? And he's just playing this like affable old fellow. The elves don't trust Dustin or the church. Okay, okay. So I think we can definitely trust the elves because, okay, Pontiff is Pope. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so church is evil. Elf is obviously like, yo, they're pretty sus. Gotcha. Like Julius. Julius' soul was being used as fodder all from the beginning? Since when? What do you mean? No answer! Don't you dare leave! How are you gonna drop that on us? Say your brother's soul was being used all this time. Can you give us a little bit more details? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Just leaves. More Anna scenes. What's going on here? Okachan, you don't have a gyat worthy enough for this. Like, <laughs> so this is actually realistic um, armor. At least they have a huge plate around the fucking hip to cover her cheeks, but interesting. Interesting that- how does she even sit like that? That must have been so fucking awkward. You know what I mean? How the fuck- anyway, that's some random details. Not sure if Pultimos there was being racist to Anna or not, or like pitying her. Half-elf, huh? Half-elf is obviously something not too good in this world. CGI. Oh, who is this? What are you gonna do about it? Shun? Su! Okay. Will it? But it's baseless. Oh, here's Hugo. Oh, shit. Damn. Okay. He's got some new drip. Hugo has come with some new fucking drip, dude. Uh oh. He got his stats and skills taken away, though. How did he get stronger? Demon powers. What is this look? Why is Sue... No, it's just a weird angle of this. I was like, is Sue intentionally setting, you know, Katya up by using Hugo? Like, no, no, there's no way. It's just the awkward angle of the position, right? I'm getting too skits, though, dude. There's no need to read this far into it, no. But Sue's look there was kind of sus. Okay, this is the outcome of Wakaba leaving? Holy shit, that's a lot of tower techs! Present timeline? No, it's the past. Why are there so many spiders? Mama Spider probably sent them out, huh? It's gotta be Mama Spider sent- Wait, there's no way they're all out to get Wakaba back, right? The mom was like, all right. My daughter left, even though I tried to eat her before. I'm gonna send you guys out, get her back. No, is it just for Wakaba? Uh, search. Is that our skill? Ooh, what's some big ass spiders. So, okay, they are after us. Arc Tower Tech, dude, this is before Queen Tower Tech, dude. Arc is actually super high up. This might have, I don't know who, I don't know if that exists, but this is like pretty fucking high up, man. They also have Foul Feeder, Kin Eater, they got all that shit. Do they have any of the lost skills? Sorry, the sins? 
I don't think they do. They got Taboo 7, though. They do have Taboo 7, and I'm not sure if I can see any of the other ones. I don't want to, like, read for too long because people on Patreon is going to be like, what the fuck, bro? Come on, they can skip ahead. But, all right. Yeah, they're pretty strong. But could Kumo beat them? All of them. I know she can beat, like, individually, but could she beat them all right now? What's up, my brothers and sisters? <laughs> what did you say? Welcome, my brothers. Okay, go. Okay, Toto. <laughs> oh, we set up a bunch of webs. But they're pretty smart. CGI tree. We still should have speed over everything, though. And we got crazy magic. Abyss magic. Hellgate. This one's nice to spam on big AoE attacks. Congratulations, you killed all your kin. Wait, they're still up. So this could be like three dragons versus Wakaba right now, huh? If they're on that tier. Oh, yo. The webs are fucking twisting mid-air? Threat control 10. Damn. Enchant a web with elements. What are we gonna do? Oh? Uh-oh. No! That's all right. It's one leg. Holy shit. Look how fast she's scuttling on the ground. <gasps> all set up. Now abyss magic. How are you going to finish him? Poison synthesis? The fuck? Wait, are we back in the labyrinth right now? In the middle straight up? We are, right? So, okay, so we can't just instantly go back to the labyrinth like that. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that's very useful. Wait, this... I thought we are trying to dunk them in. Does that mean we're going to go back and get the other two and teleport them here too? <laughs> Man, I feel bad for our brothers. Because they're getting mind control to do this, you know? They probably don't even want to do it. I'm not sure. And he's stacking so many of those platforms too. Yo, I thought this was going to be easy. What's going on? What's a lot. Yes, when in doubt, just increase the volume. Bye-bye, brother. And it's dead. Huh? Did she save some of the remains to eat? I'm not really sure. Two levels. Are we getting closer to the human form? That's fucked up. Just eating our brother right now. I mean, we already were kin eaters since like episode one. That's fucked up. Wait, she's glowing? And teleport, gotcha. And now we gotta dump the other two, right? Yo. <laughs> he just threw the fucking Ark Teratek's face there. Oi, that's your brother. <laughs> Jesus. All right, you're going to the fucking lava too. Dude, she's deep frying him. She's literally just deep frying him. And she just dumps him in for a bit and she takes him out. They're all cooked. We just, we just straight up ate three greater ones and one Arc Taratek. That's crazy. Cute. Look how cute she is, guys. Oh, mother's angry. Can you? Can you just block her phone number? Yeah, there's a connection. You must be able to sever us somehow. Oh? Time to get emancipated? Oh, we're already running away from home. Counterattack? On... On mom? The three of her schizo friends are gonna go after mom. Mother's mind. i kind of scared to go in there. I don't know. <laughs> I just go in there and figure it out. It's gonna be okay. This is where we say, gonna be okay. Probably. It's not ready perfectly. Bye bye. Okay. Now what? Devour her mind? 
What? What the fuck does that mean? What, 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 what does that mean? Drinking wine. He set everything up by taking Sue. Ah! This is obviously too obvious, right? But this is the, the second prince, right? Excited or something. So he's working with Hugo and the demons. I see it. Anyone else? Who is this girl again? Sue and... Okay, Katya is here. Sue's still giving a weird look. And that's the episode. Today's episode was... All over the place. We had a lot of... We got a lot of like more lore. We got to see the elves, right? I still don't believe this shield dude. Super sus. Mega sus. Anna? There was a weird zoom in scene. I don't know what they're doing with Anna. She's half elf. I don't know if she's gonna be important, but they're showing a lot of focus all of a sudden. We got to meet, you know, we got to meet a little bit of the the leader of the elves, right? And what Okachan has been doing basically, because Okachan has been obviously reincarnated into Pultimos's, you know, faction. She's just been kind of doing like diplomacy with the demons this entire time. But ever since, ever since uh, Wakaba got in as demon lord, assuming this is Wakaba and not Admin D, I don't know. I was, I, I, I it's a 50-50 at this point. The diplomacy kind of all went out the window, which I think is good because obviously we shouldn't be working with the church. Even the elves are like, yo, don't trust that Dustin dude, that Pope. That guy is super sus. And of the princes, obviously, Sidus was the most sus one. It would have been a very interesting plot twist if the long hair brother was actually the betra the traitor, right? That would have been an absolute twist and Sidus was actually the good one all along. But no, it was the most intuitive way, right? What else do we have? Basically, we shouldn't trust the church. They're super sus. But they're obviously the true evil people in this world, and the demons are probably not really that evil. Hugo basically kidnaps Sue and Katya to get Shun's like attention. Hugo probably has no idea what he's even doing, right? Hugo's just getting toyed with. He's getting controlled. But as long as he gets revenge, his little petty revenge against Shun, that's all that matters. It'd be fun to see Shun just dunk on Hugo again. But I wonder if we're gonna go that path because Hugo got new drip, he got new powers, he's got some demon shit, right? So that's gonna be interesting. We got to see Mama Spider send out our brothers against us. Just we're just basically just killing all our family. Every one of Mama's kids are dead now. Uh, we don't know about that. Who knows how many of them are still alive? But we killed the three greater ones and a one arc one, which I'm sure is Mama's like biggest squad, right? And we even like launched some kind of mental warfare here like what's going on they went in they started eating the mom's like virtual like what is this i don't know these spiders don't exist she's schizo she has parallel brains this is just different compartmentalization but we know there's a connection between mom and us and every other tarot tech because it's a hive mind so this is like the connection being eaten away i don't know this is like what the fuck we got like a different virtual world but that's pretty much it a lot of new things have been set up and i'm sure it's gonna continue to get her continue to get better but hey if you're still here if you didn't enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care